Hello, this is Pastor Cliff. I just wanted to share a few thoughts today. I've not done a great deal of preparation on this, but it's a burden, uh, a passion in my heart that today we don't live under the law, we live under grace. Grace is the victory in our lives, and uh, we're not justified by the law, we're justified, we are brought into God by the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's look at Galatians 2, verse 16, first of all. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 16, it says this, Knowing that a man is not justified by works of the law, but by faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ, and not by the works of the law, for, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. You cannot, in your own efforts, know what it is to be victorious in the Lord. You can't, by your own efforts, get saved. It is by grace are you saved through faith. Christians today, and you as a born again person in the Lord, you are in the thrilling place of not under the law, but under grace. As a child of God today, as a king, as a priest, as an overcomer in God, you're a person that reigns in life by one Christ Jesus, not by your own efforts. And the thing is that you can be excited about that because in the law, nobody could fulfill the law. And you remember if you look in Exodus and you read it all, the priest went in once a year and they were covered. They had a covering when he, he gave the sacrifices and he went to into the Holy of Holies. They got a covering. Today, we're much for, we are in a blessed position where we can enter the Holy of Holies every single minute of the day because Jesus died on the cross. He came not to destroy the law, to fulfill it. So today, you are not justified by the things you do. You're justified by what Jesus did on the cross you've overcome. And, you know, it's great to know that you're not under the law. You're not under the law. And there's some thoughts here and some scriptures on it. And I just want to just, just bring you a few little thoughts about, the, about it. The law is fading away, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 11. Anywhere the law is preached, it produces a mind hardening and a hardening of the veil. In other words, you go back to doing what you're trying to do. And if you read about the book of Galatians, if you study the book about Galatians, it's very clear that Paul was not happy with the Galatian church because they, they went away from the liberty they had in Christ back into performing laws. And he says in verse Galatians 5 and verse 1, Stand therefore fast in the liberty, whereas God has set you free, and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage you trying to do. Because we don't have to do anymore. God's done it for us. Hallelujah. Amen. Christians are dead to the law. That's Galatians 2 verse 19. The law frustrates grace in Galatians 2 21. It's no longer you that live it, but Christ that liveth in you. You overcome by his life. That's the big key to realize. You overcome by his life. You overcome by him. You overcome by him being inside you. You're more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. Romans 8 and verse 37. You overcome by his life. The other thing that's amazing thing to know is that when you, when you're a Christian and you've got the ministry of the Lord in you flowing, it's not a ministry of condemnation, it's a ministry of life. In uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 10, the law has no glory in all comparison with the new covenant. If you read that particular scripture, 2 Corinthians 3, you'll find it's talking about ministry. The, the ministry of Moses was glorious to the point but the ministry that you've got in the Lord is far more glorious and far more liberating. Today, you're not under law. It says, you see, you're not under the law of sin and death anymore. Romans 8 verse 2. You live in the law of the spirit of life in Christ. You live in the freedom of God. And some people say, oh, we've got a, the law is bigger than, than grace. Well, I, 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 I prefer to disagree with that. And I just want to just show you one scripture and... Um, just want to share this scripture and think upon it, everybody. Have a bit of a thought about it. It says this. Christ has become of no effect to you, or no effect to you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. In other words, when you're trying to live under the law and grace, Christ becomes no effect to you, you just become more beat up, you try harder, you fail more, you get more condemned, because you realise you're trying to live in two camps. And it says, quite clearly in this scripture, it says, Christ has become of no effect on you, 
whosoever of you are justified by the law. If you think by your deeds still, you're still trying to do it like the Galatian church saw here, or oh, we will still do this and do that. It doesn't, that, that will never justify it. It's Christ that's made you free. It's Christ that's set you free. It's the blood of Jesus that set you free. And you know, people say, oh, I, I've fallen from sin and what have you. But in, in a sense, sin's a big, big obstacle. But it isn't really. A lot of the things that are problems to Christians is not so much sinning in the life, it's that they try and live a life where they keep trying to help God and they fall from the grace of God. In this verse clearly teaches in verse 4, you fall from the grace of God doing it through you and therefore you then become again into bondage. You then become you trying to do it. When the Lord wants you to realise it's him doing it through you. Hallelujah. There's many, many, many more scriptures. And um, we looked up something here by phildrysdale.com. There's 37 scriptures that teach quite clearly that Christians are not under the law. I haven't got time on this video to go through them all. The greatest thing to realize today that God has set you free from the law of sin and death and has brought you into the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. You're set free by his life. You overcome by his life, not by your own efforts. Day one today, realize it's God through you, God working through you, not your own efforts, and you'll stay free. I thank the Lord today that I live in grace today. I live in grace, and through living in him, God wants my heart then to become well, a position of where I live and my walk, where I want to please him and I want to do what's right. I, I, Christ fulfilled the law for me. It's what he did. God fulfilled it that I might live in the liberty of the Lord Jesus Christ. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed today. You've been set free from the law and you now live in grace. You live by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and you overcome by his life today. Realize that one dear loved one today. Listen to it, get hold of it, read it and, and, and meditate upon it and, and study scriptures to see how free you are in the Lord, that the law has done away with, and you're now in a new covenant altogether, which is the covenant of Christ Jesus. The law of sin and death is done away with, and you live in the law, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, where there's no condemnation. The Lord richly bless you. Hello, this is Pastor Cliff Chapman. I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all for the time you spent watching my videos. I'm just saying to you today that if you want to get in touch with me with any ideas, anything you would like help with, or if you don't attend a church at the moment, you want more help with Bible study, then please feel free to contact me. I have contact places on my Facebook page, Pastor Cliff Chapman Evangelist Ministries, also at my email address, which is at the end of every video, and my own mobile number. If you cannot use any of them, you can also get through, get contact me through members page on Task Jesus. Do feel free to contact me because I'm here to help. I'm here to help you grow in the Lord. The Lord bless you all richly.